Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to design the test range test case using depends on method attribute. It is also called as hard dependency. From the name itself you can guess its usage. Depends on method means going to depend on another method for execution. Let me explain with an example. Please click on subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell symbol to get notified about new videos. Thank you. Here we have the demo registration flow that is launch the application and then navigate to demo page and finally close the application. If we implement depends on method to the navigate demo page, this method will be executed only if launch application method is passed. In case if the launch application method is failed, then navigate to demo page method will be skipped. In this example, it is just three methods. Just consider if it is a big flow contains more than 50 methods. What will happen if the launch method fails due to the application is down? It will unnecessarily execute all the methods, which is a totally waste of time. To avoid these type of situations, we use the depends on method concept so that the method will be executed only if the previous dependent method is passed. Hope you got an idea and let's see the practical implementation for both positive and negative scenario. I have created a depends on method class and three methods using test annotation. One is to launch application, then navigate demo page and finally close application. You know how to create these method using test annotation. So I am skipping those steps. You can refer my previous video to learn about it. When we execute this flow, it will be executed in the alphabetical order. By using the priority attribute, we can design the execution flow. Same like priority, we have an another option called a depends on method. Using that also, we can sequence the flow. What I'm going to do here is, first one is launch application and second method is navigate demo page. Here, I am going to depends on methods equal to curly symbol. You have to depend on the previous method which needs to be given within double quotes. So this is the syntax. Depends on method parameter equal to launch application within the double quotes. The previous method, we have to mention it here. Same way, depends on methods equal to curly symbol double quote and this close application method is depending on navigate to demo page just copy paste this now we will execute and see how it will work execution is completed first launch application is executed then navigate demo page is executed after that close application method is executed Tell meaning here is if launch application is passed then navigate demo page will be executed. If navigate demo page is passed, then only close application will be executed because we have mentioned depends on method attribute. And this is a positive scenario. In the real time scenario, what we will do after launching the application, we use to verify whether the title is displayed properly or not. Here I'm not going to implement the Selenium code rather than let me do the textual comparison using assert. For that, ASSERT 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 equals, so I am choosing the string actual and the expected string. In the real time scenario, we will try to use the get title value and save it here. Here, for time being, I am hard coding it online tutorials making both actual and the expected value as same and this is a positive scenario both actual and the expected value is same what i am doing here is i am just removing yes so the textual comparison will fail if this launch application fail then 
navigate demo page should be skipped let us execute and check that the execution is completed what happened here is the launch application is failed the reason for failure here is expected in the actual is not same if launch application is fail navigate demo pages skipped and a close application is also skipped the total run is 3 3 method in that one failed and two skipped now you can understand the importance of depends on method one more negative scenario i am doing it i am making the launch application as passed the actual and the expected value remain same and now making navigate demo page as failed one I have changed the actual and the expected value this method will be failed if navigate demo page is failed automatically close application will be skipped because the close application method is depend on navigate demo page let me execute now run as test ng the execution is completed first launch application is passed then navigate demo page which is failed because of invalid title textual comparison since the close application method is depends on the navigate demo page that particular method is skipped so in this scenario the failure is one skip is one that's the end of today's session in case of any clarification please post your queries in the comment or mail me thanks for watching happy learning